Nothing tastes better than homemade lemon curd. It's a pain to make, but oh, so worth it. Prepare a double boiler and add 150 gram powdered sugar, one tablespoon starch, two pinches of salt, three egg yolks, and one whole egg into set bowl and whisk it. To be perfectly honest, that is the only thing you will be doing for about 20 minutes total. You have to whisk this constantly while the double boiler is on low heat. You may ask why this is important. Well, if you don't whisk it, the egg might cook like a normal egg would and nobody wants scrambled eggs in their lemon curd. When this mixture of eggs and sugar finally become fluffy and light, you can pour the lemon juice into it. What would a lemon dessert be without the zest of a lemon? Incomplete, I say. So here we add that as well. Now continue whisking this. I know it is boring, but that's how it goes. I actually switched with my mother at one point as my arm started to hurt and I needed to check the camera as well. Well, you stir until this starts to thicken. When you dip in a wooden spoon and the back stays coated, I can congratulate you. You are done whisking on the double boiler. Get the bowl off the heat and start adding 120 grams of butter that you cut into smaller pieces one by one. The butter should be cool, not frozen mind you, and incorporate them individually. This will cool the curd off quite well. When you're done with adding the butter, the curd should have cooled off completely. Strain the curd so that we can get the lemon zest out and make this whole experience even smoother. I kept the curd in a jar in the fridge and ate it with pretty much everything. A pudding? Add some. A slice of bread? Hell yeah! A cake? Is that even a question? Of course yes! This was day 3 of our advent calendar. As usual, the recipe is in the description below. See you tomorrow!